Hey, I'm Dr. Chen, and I'm going to give you a brief orientation to your electronic lab notebook. So the first thing you want to do is go to labarchives.com and log in. And it'll welcome you to your summer 2017 electronic lab notebook. And you can see uh, the file system is set up on the left here um, with all the information that you need, your source protocols that you'll be referencing for pre-labs and for your lab work each week. And then under that, uh, the folders will list the broad experiments and then you click on that and it'll list the individual labs and what's happening each week. If you click on that, uh, there's a couple of different entries. The one you want to focus on is going to be the lab entry page. And at the top, it'll have experimental goals. So that tells you what we want to do. It's kind of a checklist for the day. And it will also uh, refer to specific protocols that you can go then go into the protocols folder to access those protocols. So it'll tell you which protocols we're going to be using for Summer Lab 1, for example. Below that, we have a couple of sections that you will then fill in with your own uh, information. So for the first lab, you'll want to go ahead and fill in the purpose. What's the purpose of what we're doing week one? And you can, as you go along, so you want to copy in the protocol for methods. But then as you go along in the protocol, you want to answer some of these questions about your observations throughout the protocol. And then results is a section where you'll put any data you obtain, such as tables, photos, uh, that sort of thing. And then you want to have a little discussion about what we found. And at the bottom, each of your lab entry pages will have this assignment status. And when you're done with your lab entry for the day, you'll want to click on that and change the status from assigned to student to submitted to instructor. And that way your TA will know that um, you're ready to be checked out. I just want to point out a couple other features while we're here. One is this search bar at the top. So it's one of the great features of Electronic Lab Notebook is that you can search by keyword, like say PCR. Um, that was just because I was clicked onto that submission. But uh, if we ignore that, then every uh, instance in the protocol where we use the word PCR comes up. And I also want to mention that there is an app. Uh, I believe both for Android and iPhone uh, and you can download that on your phone and then that way if you take any photos with your phone you can upload directly you can kind of read through the protocol on your way into lab uh, that sort of thing so hopefully this was a nice little intro for you and you can go ahead and get started on your first lab entry